Vanilla wafers don't belong in banana pudding, so say goodbye to them. We are going on a culinary quest to crown the ultimate banana pudding champion. Join me as we put five unexpected contenders to the test to determine the perfect companion to banana pudding. So let's go to the store. Yes. These are yellower, so I can make it sooner. We are looking for pecan sandies right now. I'm sure I'm going to get hate for not buying the name brand, but cookies are expensive. Bordeaux Chessmen. These are like the super stupid expensive cookies. Five dollars? There's 27 cookies in here and they're five dollars. Oatmeal cookies. I don't know about the. I was hoping this good brand would have oatmeal cookies to, to give them a chance, but nobody wants oatmeal raisin because that's just nasty. <gasps> oh, look, here's some. Whee! Oh, shoot. Sorry. Yes, I already opened the bag and got into these and oat, ate some yesterday. Next, we have our classic. Freaking Biscoff cookies. Who doesn't love these? You know what? I'm going to have to freeze all of these extra cookies. Otherwise, I'm going to sit here and eat them all. And that's so unhealthy. These are going to go in this one. These are like the classic coffee cookie. I've actually made a pudding like this before. It was like a cheesecake filling and you put it on the top and it had cottage cheese in it. It sounds crazy and gross, but it was actually really, really good. Next, we have Bordeaux cookies. Oh boy, those freaking smell so good. Last but not least, somebody said their friends banned them from making this ever again because they tried oatmeal cookies. Dang, those are big. That's almost like one cookie for the bottom. And they're crunchy. Oops. We're just gonna put a little extra in there. And now we gotta cut up a banana on a nut. Havana una. I don't know why that song always pops into my head when I use bananas. I'm just going to make these one layer. So we're going to use the banana pudding recipe that won the ultimate taste test battle, making one big batch of that and then creating these smaller puddings to use for our different cookies. I don't need full test batches because banana pudding is so good, you know I would eat all of these by myself. Spread that out. We're just gonna sandy this one up like that. This was the Biscoff, so we're going to Biscoff that up. Then we have the Bordeaux. And finally, uh-oh. Oh no, that's right, okay. Oatmeal, oatmeal. Banana pudding four ways. See the layers of the, we get the banana and then we have the shortbread cookie, the pecan cookie. Okay, that's pretty good, but it doesn't taste like much. Yeah, I, I feel it. like I can't taste the pecan. Yeah, I can't either. You know what I mean? Like, like it's pudding is just pudding. Yeah, it's very pudding. Yeah, it's not as strong to hold up with the banana flavoring because banana is very strong. Yeah. Caramel next. Caramel nuts. I actually do. Do you say this. caramel or caramel? Caramel. Caramel. Oh, okay. We caramel. Yeah, this makes it sweeter. If I would have, I think it needs to be like thinner pudding layer and then more cookies. Mm -hmm. I think that would have helped. I do like this one more than that one though. I like the sweetness that it adds. Oh. And maybe the softerness of that softerness is that a word? Yeah, sure, it is now. <laughs> yeah, if that had cinnamon on that, that would be my favorite. I, probably. I think so. That would add. That would bring out the the caramel flavor. Wow, yeah. I definitely like this one better. What is this one? It's graham crackers. These are cinnamon ones. Usually, I'll sprinkle the top with cinnamon, but I just use cinnamon oh. graham crackers, which wasn't my idea. Somebody commented on that, and they're genius. Those are tied for me so far. 
I'm favorite. liking this, uh, the caramel. These are like my most favorite cookie of all time. I don't think I I've ever had these cookies either. No. They're like the ones you get on Delta Airlines. Oh. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, <laughs> we <laughs> found a winner. This one trumps that one by a long time. Oh, shot. okay, okay. Oh my gosh. She even so said, good. heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Heck to the yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that? I like it, but I think you're biased because you really like that cookie. I think so too. Yeah. I'm, I'm still liking the caramel. Right. I'm very excited about. I'm an oatmeal fan, so I'm quite this excited. This does not about have this raisins, one. by the way. I hate oatmeal raisins. Okay, fair so enough. It's just oatmeal. Don't be hating on the raisins. Just, and there's like these, and you're like, oh man, those chocolate chip cookies look amazing. And then you grab one and you bite into it, and it's a raisin. You're like, that is like the biggest disappointment <laughs> ever. I think I'm gonna like this one. I like the idea. <laughs> it's just texture wise. Yeah, the cookie is like super thick. It's not as soft as the others. I mean, it's pretty good, but I think that one's out for me. It's the texture. Yeah. And now, my friends, the ultimate revelation. The banana pudding cookie. When you take a bite, time itself pauses. The universe leans in, whispers, this is it, mortal. You've reached peak dessert. And you, we are forever changed. I can I can eat dessert for days. Right? So you know. That's like, why we eat dessert first and then dinner later. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, that one's yep. quite good. Way better than graham crackers and everything. We're just gonna move this over here. Now we get your side. This scoff is the new graham cracker. <laughs> Caramel is the new graham cracker. The expert has spoken. That's right. <laughs> Check out this video up here if you want to see us home if homemade is better than semi-homemade. Homemade! <laughs>